Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a kitty in the snow inspired by the incredible artist, Angie Rosalar. You're gonna need to start with two pieces of paper. One is going to be for your cat's fur and the other one is gonna be for your kitty's scarf. Later, you will also need a background sheet of paper, but we don't need to worry about that yet. So the total amount of papers you'll need for this is three and they can be any colors you want. I am going to start with a black sheet of paper for my cat's fur and I'm going to be coloring using construction paper crayons. There are so many different colors and patterns to cats. I can't wait to make this fur come to life. And then the second sheet I'm going to use is this white and I'm going to be cutting this in half to make my scarf. I'm going to start first with my cat fur. So I'm gonna put my scarf paper off to the side just for now. And what I wanna do here is fill the entire thing. You can leave out the very, very, very edges, but I want you to fill the entire thing with fur texture. What color is your cat going to be? Is it red? Is it a smoky blue? Is it black? Do you wanna add texture to your black cat with like some gray, maybe white spots? Is your kitty gonna be a Bengal with those beautiful spots? You get to choose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work off, I'm gonna be inspired by my little kitty named Tiny Baby, and I'm gonna make this black with some oranges, reds, browns, and white, because that's what color she is. And I want you to notice the different furry type of textures I'm gonna create. It's kind of scribbly and the colors will overlap. That's a good thing. You can also change up how hard you press. So here I'm pressing lightly and here I'm pressing darker. Have fun with it. Kitties are nice and fuzzy. They have that beautiful fur. You want your paper to show that same fuzziness. So experiment, press hard, press light in other areas and fill your page. Alrighty, I have filled my paper, but I wanna go back in and add just a few more spots of black because my kitty has some black on her and I want that to show through. Even though I use that black background, I want there to be some pop, some contrast. She's a tortie, so she's kind of all different colors, and they do overlap on her fur. So I love the way the crayons look as they overlap on the page. Get creative with it. Yours can be much more neat than mine, depending on the kind of fur your kitty has. I think I'm satisfied for now. So what I'm going to do is put this aside. I'm gonna scoot my construction paper crayons right back in their box. And it's time to work on our scarf. The first thing we wanna do with our scarf is divide our paper in half. This is a lot of paper. We don't need the whole thing. So what I'm gonna do is just fold it in half the long way open it and just cut along that line. You can save the scrap for another project. Fabulous. Keep those scissors nearby. We will need to use them again shortly. What I'm gonna do now is fill this in with patterns. I want to make sure I'm being safe on my table, though I don't want to get any marker on there, so I am going to put down a little bit of scrap paper here. My fur is just going to hang out right next to me, safe and sound. Now, when you create your patterns, get creative. Use all the lines and shapes you know. I like to add a black outline and then add a few more different lines. We have zigzags, we have horizontal lines. Switch it up as you see fit. You are the artist, you get to choose. Is your scarf gonna be a floral pattern with flowers? Is it going to be just horizontal lines? How about some plaid? Nothing wrong with a classy argyle scarf. You can totally Google these words if you don't know them. 
Now that I have my outlines complete, I'm going to color this in with marker. If you have crayons, make sure you make it very, very bold. We don't want the scarf to look scratchy. We want this scarf to pop, pop, pop off the page. Choose a color scheme. Maybe you want all warm colors, cool colors, primary, analogous, tertiary, neutral. Totally up to you. Alrighty, now that I have finished my scarf patterns and my fur, it's time to cut out the cat and scarf. Let's start with the cat. We're gonna flip this over. I'm gonna put this off to the side for now. And this might be a little hard to see, so I'm gonna use my crayon. I suggest you do this in pencil. You will be able to see it if you're using a black sheet of paper like I am. If you don't have black paper, you can do this in pencil no matter what. Here we go. The first shapes I want to make are the head. And remember, we're just making an outline. Just save some room for a tail, okay? I like to connect my tail. It just keeps it easier for me. So when in doubt, go a bit smaller. You wanna save room because we're gonna need to cut out some paws and a tail. So here we go. Let's start with the head. I'm gonna go up, down, across, up, down. So there's the head. And now I'm just gonna connect with a big U body. If you want a chubby or kitty, this is bigger. If it's smaller, Keep it smaller, but remember you still need room for a tail, so save yourself room. There you go, there's a general cat shape. If you want, you can add your tail connected to the cat so you don't have to cut it separately. That's what I prefer to do. And again, your tail could be up, it could be down. It depends on where you place the cat body. Now the only other thing we need is some feet to use for the feet. It doesn't matter how close they are because I'm gonna be cutting these out. I can actually just whoosh, cut those all the way up if I want to. So let's cut this out. I'm gonna start with those little feetsies just cause they're right there. And here's how I'm gonna make this easier. I'm gonna cut around them like this. Way easier to cut these shapes out now. And remember, as you go around the corner, Turn the paper, not the scissors. There's foot one. Whoop, you pause there, Mr. Foot. Foot two. There we go. This is a scrap, so I'm just gonna get rid of it over here. Here you go, you can even see the other side. Let's check out how these look. Come here. Oh, adorable. Fabulous little feetsies. And then here we go. And if I think, you know, maybe I made my cat a little too big, you can always edit it now. Now watch me, I'm gonna go around, make a slight difference for the tail. There we go. I know my scissors are super squeaky. Around. Now here's where I might do some editing. I'm gonna make my tail a little thicker. And then I'll connect it inward to the body. Boop. Turn and finish cutting up here. Now again, it's a lot of scrap. Let's just get rid of that. And now we can add little head. You can see I've edited my lines as I go. And there you have it. It's a cat body outline. I'm gonna get rid of those scraps. And let's turn it over. Ah, so cute. What a little cutie patootie. Now we need to measure for the scarf. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this across. I'm gonna hold this this way. So it has to go, it has to fit across our kitty's neck, right? So I suggest turn this around. We're gonna measure across. So your cat's head needs to be about that high, right? Up there. 
So leave this stop there. We're gonna make a little line. We're gonna trace. How long, how thick should we have this scarf? About that thick. So what I want you to do is draw a little line. Trace, trace, just like that. Can you see that? Because I stopped here and I stopped here. Move your cat. This is where it gets confusing. And draw a straight line across just like that. Okay? Cut that out. Awesome. Now watch what happens when I turn this over. I know this is very complicated so far, but it's okay. We'll get there. Aha. Uh -huh. Fits beautifully. Now we've got to cut out some shapes for the rest of our scarf. And you can do this in a few ways. You can just snip off that little area there, cut a little part off here, cut a little part off there. You can stick them underneath like that or like this, and that's how you'll glue them later. You could even stick one under the other like that. That's super helpful. So if you really like the way that looks, you can connect your scarf all at once or you can glue it as you go. That's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna glue our little feetsies after as well. But first, let's get a background. Save this piece. You might be wanting to wake another kitty who has a friend, am I right? I think so. Alrighty. I have my blue background here. And before I do anything, I want my kitty to be sitting on a nice snowy ground. So I am going to just color this in real fast. Okay, I'm even gonna add some little snow before I glue. Okay, I'm gonna scoot these out of the way. Keep this here. Move my kitty cat. Time to get some scrap paper. Kitty's gonna go right here, so we're gonna flip it over. Glue it down. Remember when you're using your glue sticks, young artist. Go slow. Get the edges. You must get the edges or this won't work. One little swipe won't work. You really gotta get those edges back and forth a couple of times. Be gentle, you don't wanna rip off your tail either. All right, here we go. Oh, that sweet kitty. There we are, time to add the little paws. Flip them both over. Let's add that scarf. Now here, I'm gonna actually glue all three parts of my scarf at once. I'm not gonna press down too hard. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play a little trick. Here we go. I'm gonna gently place this, but I'm not gonna put it down all the way. See, it's still flopping up like that. That's good. That leaves me room to stick this one underneath and this one underneath that one just like that so just scoot it on underneath now oh way better so neat i got a little glue on there but it's okay it'll be little cat fuzz right to avoid that we'll turn that over oh the only thing that's missing is some cute little eyes now i have this glue cap here and this scrap of white paper from my scarf. I can totally use this to trace some eyeballs. And if I want them to be the same, check out this trick. Trace one, fold it. So you have one piece of paper on the back, one on the front. Cut them both at the same time. So they're the same. You might want to do this with clean hands. Mine are not clean. And do your best. And there you have it. 
two little eyes for Kitty. Let's glue those on. Excellent. And grab a little marker. Add a pupil. Look at that cutie. The Judy. A nose. See that little tip there? Upside down triangle is all it takes. Boop. Very small. A cute little kitty. This part's a little tough to get off, but you could do it. I know you can. And then I'm just going to use a little Sharpie. To make a little smile, very subtle. And you can even use your marker to have some whiskers. Now get rid of your scraps. One, the final touch. I'm just gonna add just a little pink. There you have it, my friends. An adorable little collage kitty in the snow, inspired by artist Angie Rosalot.